What's going on, guys? I am here in a Danny's. No, I'm, I'm Shaquille O'Neal. <laughs> <laughs> there is no seat. Look, look at this. Look at this. Crazy. That's what Shaq drives. Yeah, he just takes the seat out and just leans back. That's yeah. all. <laughs> so we are in a Camaro, folks. I and it Buick. Huh? Buick. Didn't Shaq drive a Buick? Shaq says he drives a Buick. You know darn well he ain't driving no damn Buick. Yeah. <laughs> he I probably just has it parked there, and yeah. then that's about it. That's about it. But we're in a Camaro, folks. It's a big beast coming out of a Miata, and then jumping into this, it's like yeah hood line like whoa so danny is allowing me today to drive his car this uh danny let's uh, let's talk a little bit about the car it's a yeah. basically a cam built car right well it's trying to get there <laughs> <laughs> but there's nothing available so yeah there's no seat right now yeah. uh and since the car is so new this is the new generation so this is a 2017 or 16 16 2016 camaro ss and uh, right now we have some big tires. We have three 15s on the front yep. and three 35s. Three 35 30s, 18s on the back. Woo! Yep. That's as big as what was in that Z06. So it, it's it's kind of big, it's kind of crazy in here. So let's, let's, let's talk about some of the mods other than the tires. What else did you do? Okay, so uh, um, I tried to buy shocks, but there isn't anything available <laughs> other than other than other than some special things that Jordan has. Uh, um, so they're, they're, they're all top secret stuff. So I couldn't buy anything, first of all. So uh, GM has a uh, standard lowering kit. Mm -hmm. So it comes with lowering springs, and then their shocks is valve is valve for that shock. Okay. Uh, for, the, for the spring size. Yeah. Uh, it's 22 millimeter lower all the way around. Oh, so okay. I have that. Uh, I have a ground effects kit. So so it looks good. I like the ground effects yeah, kit, even yeah. though it adds like a hundred pounds. <laughs> uh, and then um, I have a, a BMW rims and tires. Mm. I mean rims. Mm -hmm. uh, they're 18 by 11s and uh, no, I, I'm sorry, 18 by 10s in the front and 18 by 11s in the back. Woo! Big um, boys. I have to put um, extended studs from. I think apparently the only people that sell extended studs for this size mm -hmm. are people in Australia. Oh, okay, from but, the Holdens and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. Okay. But it turns out that the uh, um, the regular half an inch, um, you know, uh, uh, ones from ARP, you can actually work. find the ones that are actually sneak it in there. So oh, I, I found okay. the right ones and so they I'm, work. Yeah, they work. Okay. So okay. they're running those. Nice. Um, I have uh, um, um, pads that I bought. Um, I have DS2500 pads I bought from Shano. I haven't put them in yet. Um, <laughs> so this is the stock brakes right now? Yeah, stock okay. brakes. Okay. Um, it's, you know, it, it, it has ice mode issues. But yeah. but once the shock gets put in, and then as long as you brake somewhere fairly straight, then ice mode doesn't kick in. So oh, it's, it's okay. Okay, okay so um, I just got to watch my brake. And then I have the new Strano bar. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, big boy. A big, yeah. this is probably like the girth. It's, it's the like, girth. It's like, it's like, it's like that. <laughs> it's the size of Strano. No, it's, <laughs> Even, even though, even though, even though my wife Jody saw, um, you know, a video that was uh, um, that that I think Martin Valen shot like eight years ago or nine years ago with Strano walking up to the stage and got trophy, mm -hmm. and then uh, then then Jody was saying, "Wow, Strano got really slim down." <laughs> so it's about that size. Yeah, yeah, he's actually lost a lot of weight, which is good. Keep it up, Sam. Keep it up. So I, I think Sam will also fit in these seats pretty good. You got you, you sw swapped out the stock these, seats. These are uh, um, these are uh, Kirky Intermediate okay. uh, 47s, I think. Gotcha. So there's 16. Um, we we bought uh, my client and I bought those for Oscar. For Oscar, yeah. But then you know we get thrown around in Oscar so much. Yeah. But in here it actually fits good. Yeah, and yeah. here I, I'm a little bit slimmer, so you know I'm moving around, but it's actually not bad at all. Yeah. It, it's definitely better than the stock ones. Although the stock seats weren't bad, they were just heavy, right? The stock seats are actually not heavy. Oh, they're um, not. It's got a um, it's 50 pounds altogether, both driver side and passenger side. Oh, yeah, but it has good. airbags and all of that stuff. That's you know, good. Um, it doesn't have heated. Uh, do I have? Heated? I don't have heated seats. Hmm. So, um, but but it's got you know it's got airbags built in. It's got all the power stuff. Okay. 50 pounds is not bad. No, not at all. And you also yeah. have the back seat out and everything. The too? back seat altogether is uh, 29 pounds. 29 pounds. Okay, okay. So you're dropping some weight. You're waiting for stuff to actually be developed for the car. Yeah, and right. he'll probably be the, uh, the the guinea pig. So, you know, hit him up. Hit him up. He will gladly probably test some stuff out. So this car has 440 horsepower. I think it's it? like 455 or something 455, like that. 455, yeah. yeah. Woo. So it's got an option wise, it has a MPP, uh, which is that, you know, the. It's it really all it is is a butterfly on the back and mm -hmm. the 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 exhaust actually goes through there's there's two exhaust exit on one side and two on the other oh okay once one of them always goes in through the muffler yeah and the other one's just straight through oh. so the the MPP which is the butterfly um, setup and it's always closed mm -hmm. in uh, touring mode so yeah. so basically exhaust only exit one one on the left and one on the right 
Gotcha. But then if you put it in a track mode or sport mode, that, oh. that butterfly opens. opens. Mm -hmm. So now all four comes out and that's where the sound is. So, so let's hear this for a second. Okay. <laughs> right? So that's 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 open. Oh, and then man. so if we close it to put it into um, touring Tour. mode. Yeah. It's still kind of hard to tell. Still, yeah, it's but still but what's hard. happening is is instead of exiting through a muffler, yeah, the, uh, the track mode exiting through not a muffler. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha. And so right now what we're going to do is put this into track mode. Uh, we already held the off button down for about twenty seconds. Seven seconds. <laughs> Seven seconds. <laughs> and then it decided to actually show the little wiggly, so traction is off. So we're here at the AI event. Um, so usual two runs I'm gonna try and do in this car. Danny can't ride along, unfortunately. I don't Shaq think... can't ride this car <laughs> <laughs> because there's no seat. So you know, dropping as much weight as possible. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a run out there, two runs, and see if I can chase Danny. What was your time? I ran a 45 one thirty. 45 one. So I'm not getting there. Yes, uh, you can. <laughs> he ran a 43 oh in some stupid was it Miata. In a Miata, which you yeah. got to drive, by the way. You got you got to try that thing out. This yeah. was right behind us. Yeah. Warm it up and uh, see how yeah. your next project may feel. Sweet. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we'll get going with this. Thank I'm you, Danny, here. for letting me uh, drive. Shaq is out. <laughs> Shaq has left the building. <laughs> I move like Shaq too now. Oh man. Uh. All right. So with this much horsepower and. I'm not really used to big horsepower cars. It's gonna be interesting. Now I got a chance to drive this car when it was basically just street, just stock. You know, no mods, no bars, no nothing. And it actually wasn't bad. It just swayed a lot. Uh, so let's see if uh, with these lowering springs, if it actually feels any better. The car itself is just large. It is freaking massive. Uh, so trying to know where the front end is on this thing, I'm quite sure I'm going to be hitting a lot of cones. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to stay off them a bit and uh, see what's going on. Um, the steering uh, feels, I mean, with all the new stuff, the steering wheel is just, just feel like nothing. I mean, it, it's most likely electronic steering. It's the same feeling all the way around. Um, and it's... I don't know if there's a setting. I didn't ask him as far as changing the weight. In the uh, Mustang, it actually changes the weight, um, you know, but actually it becomes too freaking heavy at times. It doesn't change anything as far as the sensitivity with the steering itself. It just adds that feedback. Kind of think of like Gran Turismo, how the feedback was. So that's how this, uh, that's how the Mustang felt. So this car is actually a, a nice upgrade from how it was before. Um, you know, the gauges I can actually freaking see. Um, it's actually digital on the inside and then analog on the left and right for the tack and the speedometer. But all your gauges and stuff on the middle is actually um, digital, which is pretty cool. They now have that whole interface in the front here on, on, on this uh, package. Um, so yeah, so what CAM is, CAM actually is kind of like a ESP or CP class where you can pretty much do a lot of shit to the car pretty much from taking out weight to doing a bunch of other stuff bigger wheels but you just have to be on street tire that is the biggest thing but you can put on as big as they have 335s 345s whatever they have uh you can go ahead and uh you know just slap them on uh flares everything is good so cam allows you there's three classes in cam this one is in C, and uh, this allows you to do so many things. So nothing's developed right now, so we just kind of have to see, and whoever's on course just keeps spinning. Just keep spinning and spinning. So, yeah, <laughs> I don't know who it is, but we'll just go ahead and wait for that one until uh, they go ahead and fix it. So I am here at the Autocrossers Inc. event. Um, we, we ran earlier today. This is just some fun runs. Uh, the committee members there are allowing me to do some one takes, which is pretty darn awesome. And uh, come out to their site. They normally run here in uh, Waldorf, Maryland. So come on out. It's very nice, relaxed atmosphere. Good courses. Um, the lot is a little bit slick because of the, how the tarmac is, but you still get the, uh, some good seat time, and you get to practice some patience out here. So it's actually good fun. Uh, so it looks like he's about to get ready to go, and here we go. So big spin off the bike. So this 
this actually feels pretty good. The, the pressures are kind of low. The way that he said it uh, feels a little saucy. With the core skin so small, you actually can't get on the, the power that much as you see me struggling a little bit. This A-pillar is ginormous. That's the throttle, folks. Get in here. Oy! This electric steering is numb on the front end. Brakes feel good. This is the OEM brakes. So a 45.5 kind of taking my time and gingering my way around the course um, the throttle isn't as precise as uh, with the Miata um, but man when you get on it you get on it boy which is uh which is pretty cool so on the next one I'm actually gonna you know uh, build up a little bit more this having a uh, similar power to like the Grand Sport but the weight, there's a lot more weight, a lot more weight. So that's one of the things that you have to just kind of keep in mind. Um, as uh, Lawrence Casey, which has that uh, AS Corvette said, this drives like a bigger, heavier Corvette, which it actually kind of does. With this much meat on there, it actually feels good. And I was actually really surprised, you know? Um, you can rotate the car really nice with on throttle, so you just gotta be careful with it. That's all. It's a big contrast in comparison to stock. Stock with the tire tires, uh, and it just swayed a lot more. Felt totally different. Th these springs actually manage to sway a lot more. Before you kind of had you had all this going on through the slaloms and the sweepers. You're really swaying around the place. And right now it feels as though this is uh, very well planted uh, in, in comparison to stock. So that's a good thing. These seats, I'm a slim guy just swimming in it right now. So that's, that's the only catch there. So the, the BFGs like some heat and I'm quite sure I added some heat in this thing on that last run. So we'll, we'll kind of just see uh, where it goes from there. But man, this thing, when it puts down the power, it puts down the power, and I actually hit the limiter, I would assume, because after flooring it, it just went, bah. <laughs> didn't have time to look down, but yeah. And then going into that slalom, uh, the front end, you can't tell what the hell it's doing. So like, I just knew that I wasn't going anywhere. That was about it. So yeah, brakes feel good, although they're stock. Um, a pads may may do a little bit better, but it feels fine. I'm actually not too aggressive on my braking. I do a lot of things a lot earlier than most. I actually don't do a lot of bonsai braking, uh, especially with this being a heavier car. Uh, throttle initial is a uh, slight lag. I don't know how the computer has this tuned, but then after that, uh, it, it is progressive. It just, the engine isn't as instant as say the Miata. Um, they're fixing the course right now and then we'll get going. Um, but the car feels good. I actually do like the car. It, it's it's big. It's fucking massive. But uh, other than that, it, it's it's pretty good. I would recommend one of these as long as you can put these damn tires on it for in, in F Street. That one LE. It almost got best driver to um driver of the year. But here we go. rotation there coming around brakes early just scrubbing the speed with the front end and then rolling on the throttle brakes a little early so I can squeeze through here a little brake because of the top side man this thing moves really well though getting on the ice mode right there And a 44.4 with the last squeeze at the end. Uh, the car feels really good. I mean, in transitions, it still has some sway, but it's a lot more manageable than it was before, especially with these damn massive tires on it. 
it feels really good um i don't have too much quarrels with this car other than i'm just not used to this much power and you can really rotate on uh, the car really nicely on on throttle uh again it, it isn't as instant as the miata but that doesn't mean that it's bad at all um this the way that it's set up is very nice and easy feels like a ginormous miata ginormous i mean huge um but I like the way that he, he has this going. Um, he doesn't have the exhaust done yet. So when he gets the exhaust and gets more power and so forth like that, it's going to feel a lot better. But the way that it is now, I, I do like it. <laughs> this is going to shock a lot of damn people uh, when he runs it in cam. Uh, mildly set up, just a lot of big tire and it giddies up pretty damn well. So um, Danny, I like where this is going, sir. It's a comfortable drive. And um, it soaked up the bumps very well. Um, you know, it broke very well. It did a lot of things well. I mean, these modern cars, they're doing so many things so well that with even my car, which is an 09, you have to kind of work at it in order to get it to that area. So that's one thing that's pretty damn cool. So yeah, well, thank you guys for uh, tuning in. That's what I'm gonna wrap it up. Thank you, Danny. Again, he uh, got the shout outs from Sam Strano. That front bar is working very well. The solemns feel nice and tight. And uh, yeah, roll on the throttle with this thing and just make it dance. If Larry Casey came in this thing, he'll probably drop some more time versus I, but I like where this is going. This is actually, uh, and this is actually pretty nice. So I will catch you guys later. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you sometime. I don't even know what the hell is going with there. Uh, it just kind of had a blank spot, whatever. Mm. Peace, I.